Breaking, Tucker Carlson Hospitalized, Please Pray Fox News host Tucker Carlson missed his Thursday night show after he went to the hospital with appendicitis. Ed Henry took over the 8 p.m. show, which went ahead and aired Carlson's interview with Frank Warmbier, father of the released North Korean detainee Otto Warmbier. Carlson had a fever, and his doctor urged him to go to the hospital, where he was diagnosed with appendicitis, Mediate reported. The condition, which can lead to death if not treated in time, usually requires the inflamed appendix to be surgically removed. A Fox News spokesperson confirmed the medical emergency and said, Tucker is now being treated for appendicitis. He is in good spirits and expects to back on the air soon. Dana Perino will take over for Tucker on Friday night. On Friday morning, Tapper tweeted, Get well soon to at Tucker Carlson, hoping for a speedy recovery. While some Twitter users credited Tapper for being classy, others were happy to use it as an opportunity to knock the Fox News host. Carlson's pre-taped interview with Fred Warmbier aired on Thursday even though the host was in the hospital. In it, Warmbier said, They are brutal. There's no sense to anything here. They've crossed a line with my son, Otto. He added, Otto was terrorized and brutalized for 18 months by a pariah regime in North Korea. We are thrilled to have him home. He's with his family. His mom is with him right now, and I'll be with him later today. At a Thursday afternoon press conference, doctors at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center revealed that much of the 22-year-old's brain has died, leaving him without the ability to speak, understand language or even move, besides the occasional fluttering of his eyelids. The doctors appeared to refute the North Korean regime's account that Warmbier went into a coma after getting botulism a day after he was sentenced to 15 years of hard labor for stealing a poster during a visit to the Hermit State. Hermit State.